Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. It's Jared here, and I got your next word for the day. We're going to be in Judges chapter 3, verses 21 through 30, and we're going to be talking about this guy named Ehud. Uh, So the story of Ehud starts out in verse 12, actually, with the, the Israelites once again disobeying God, and this is a very common theme in Judges. Uh, you see, obedience with God leads, leads to blessing, and the Israelites were not obeying God, so God begins to lift his hand of protection over, Israel, over the Israelites, and God gave King Eglon power over Israel for a period of 18 years. And so it says, again, the Israelites cried out to God, and he gave them a deliverer named Ehud. And it gives an interesting and important detail about Ehud, actually. It says Ehud was left-handed, and I'm actually left-handed. Uh, do we have any lefties watching right now? If you're left-handed, do me a favor, jump in the comments and type in, I'm a lefty. But I have a feeling there won't be many of you because there's actually a statistic that only 10% of the world's population is left-handed. And let me share you some, some, some struggles, actually, of being a lefty. So back when I was in school, uh, you'd be writing a paper, and we all know that uh, we write uh, left to right, but as a lefty, your hand basically is dragging through everything you're writing, so by the end of the day, uh, the palm of my hand was completely covered in either pencil or ink. Uh, Another struggle is when when eating, us lefties have to be very strategic about where we sit, because if you're sitting next to someone to the left of you, you're going to be constantly bumping in to their right arm as they're trying to eat. <laughs> uh, most things were designed uh, in life with right-handed people in mind. Scissors, can openers, musical instruments. That was a really tough struggle for me as, as a young musician. Uh, I could go on and on, but I, I think you get the point. Uh, so Ehud was left-handed, and the Israelites decided to send him to King Eglon to deliver the money owed to the king. But before he went, he made himself a small double-edged sword about a foot long, and he strapped it uh, to his right thigh. So Ehud goes to King Eglon, uh, which scripture describes him as a fat man. I think that's kind of funny. And Ehud presents the money to him. Uh, The king then proceeds to tell everyone in the room uh, to leave. And so we'll begin reading in verse 21 here. It says, Ehud reached with his left hand, drew the sword from his right thigh and plunged it into the king's belly. Even the handle sank in after the blade and his bowels discharged. (laughs) Ehud did not pull the sword out and the fat closed over it. Then Ehud went out to the porch. He shut the doors of of the upper room behind him and locked them. After he had gone, the servants came and found the doors of the upper room locked. They said he must be relieving himself in the inner room of the palace. They waited to the point of embarrassment, but when he did not open the doors of the room, they took a key and unlocked him. There they saw their Lord fallen to the floor dead. While they waited, Ehud got away. He passed by the stone images escaped by Sarah. When he arrived there, he blew a trumpet in the hill country of Ephraim, and the Israelites went down with him from the hills, with him leading them. Follow me, he ordered, for the Lord has given Moab, your enemy, into, his, into your hands. So they followed him down and took possession of the, of the fords of, of the Jordan that led to Moab. They are allowed no one to cross over. At that time, they were struck down about 10,000 Moabites, all vigorous and strong, and no one escaped. That day, Moab was made subject to Israel, and the land had peace for 80 years. So the reason Ehud was able to successfully assassinate King Eglon was because he was left-handed. You see, if you were a soldier or a warrior carrying a sword, you would have had it strapped into your left thigh and draw the sword with your right arm. But Ehud, being left-handed, had his sword strapped to his right thigh. So if he was frisked before entering the king's room, they wouldn't have found a sword on him and left-handed wouldn't have been a threat to the king. So that's why Eglon felt comfortable enough to tell everyone to leave the room before giving Ehud an opportunity. You know, the Bible's full of stories of God using unlikely people uh, to carry out his plan. In this case, 
Ehud's seemingly disadvantage in life became his advantage for God's purpose. So let me leave you with this today. God gives each and every one of us gifts, talents, and special abilities. And sometimes by the world's standards, it can seem like a disadvantage. And maybe you've been going through your whole life even thinking it's a curse rather than a gift. You see, the enemy would love to make sure that you never discover what the world might see as a disadvantage is in fact an advantage for advancing the kingdom and God's special purpose for your life. I hope this message blesses you and encourages you. Have a great day.